so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we are here at the Rhythm Discovery Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> this place is the world's only interactive percussion and drum museum. And I am so excited to go inside and learn all about drumming. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you hear that? It sounds like someone's already drumming. <laughs> Let's go see who it is. Come on. Whoa, it's a real life drummer. <laughs> Let's go say hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi. Hey, Blippi. It's nice to meet you. What's your name? Rob. Oh, Rob, you are really good at drumming. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. We're looking to learn all about drums today, but I've never seen a drum that looks like this. Oh, well this is called a log drum because it's made out of wood. Oh, that's cool. How does it work? So it has these two tongues cut into it that you play with these mallets. <laughs> Do you want to try it? <gasps> I would love to try. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use these mallets and play on the tongues. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, the log drum's pretty fun. That was great. Do you want to see some other instruments? Whoa, I would love to. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll take those. And let's uh, let's go further into the museum. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. This looks like a really, really, really big drum. <laughs> it is. What is this one called? It's called a gong drum. A gong drum? Whoa! <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Do I use this mallet to play the gong drum? You do. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's really fun playing a gong because a really big gong drum makes a really big sound. <laughs> Oh, thanks for showing me this. You're welcome. So you played a couple instruments now. Do you want to learn how to keep a beat? Oh, well, what's a beat? A beat is a rhythm that plays in the background of other music that repeats over and over again. Whoa, yeah, I'd like to play a beat. Okay, well, let's try a really easy one. We'll do this by clapping our hands. Okay. So we're going to clap and we're going to count up to four. We're going to do it twice. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Count to four with us and we'll clap and make beats together. All right, ready? I'm ready. One, one two. Three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> Do you want to try it on the drum? Yeah. You can make beats on a drum? Absolutely. Give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> Let's make the beats on a drum. You can do it with clapping at home. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Making beats is a lot of fun especially with a big drum. <laughs> wow. I never knew drums had so many different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Are all drums made out of wood and material like this? No, I have a bunch of instruments over here made out of metal. Do you want to see them? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> all right, let's oh. do it. I'll take this. Oh, look at it. Yeah, all of these drums are made out of metal. Uh, but. They don't really look like drums. <laughs> oh, these are part of a bigger family of instruments called percussion instruments. Whoa, well, what's a percussion instrument? Percussion instruments are anything, any instruments that we play by hitting, shaking, or scraping. Oh, so percussion means it's an instrument that you hit, <laughs> shake, whoa, or scrape. <laughs> That's exactly right. Wow. Whoa, and what are these instruments' names? Oh, yeah, so we have a desk bell like you would see in a fancy old hotel. Ooh, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have cowbells there in the back. Oh, cowbells, like the animal? Yeah, you put them around their necks so they don't get lost. Oh, you don't want to lose your cow. <laughs> uh, we have altar bells, which are used in old churches. Oh, that's cool. They're so shiny. <laughs> oh, and Rob, what's that instrument in the back? That instrument back there is called a thumb piano or a kalimba. A kalimba? Kalimba. Kalimba. <laughs> kalimba. Kalimba. <laughs> that one's fun to say. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. Those are some pretty amazing percussion instruments. <gasps> Do you want to try this one back here? Ooh, that one's another really big one. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> wow. What's this instrument called? This instrument is called a tam-tam. 
Whoa! Hey! And look at this! It has a big mallet just like the gong drum. Hmm. And the tam-tam is big just like the gong drum too. Huh. But is there something different about this one? Yeah, it's made entirely out of metal. Whoa. It's just like the gong drum, but because it's made of metal, maybe it'll sound different. <laughs> Can I play it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Tam, tam. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> tam tams are really, really loud. <laughs> Can I hit it again? Maybe this time a little softly. <laughs> There are so many amazing percussion instruments made out of wood and metal. Hey, can you show us some more instruments? Sure, come with me. <laughs> I can't wait to keep drumming. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look at this place. <laughs> there are so many amazing instruments. Rob, where are we? We're in an exhibit called Evolving Sounds where I keep instruments from all over the world and from different styles of music. Whoa, they look so cool. Wow, and this one's really big. <laughs> What's this instrument called? This instrument's called a vibraphone. Do you want to hear how it sounds? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds so beautiful and spacey. <laughs> wow, and it kind of looks like a piano. Yeah, it has bars here that kind of look like the white keys on a piano and bars here that look like the black keys. <laughs> Libby, I know you play a little bit. Do you want to try? Okay. <laughs> Let's try playing the vibraphone. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! I really like the vibraphone because it can make beautiful music. Or Silly sounds. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and Rob, is this also a vibraphone? Yes, this is actually a very special vibraphone. It's got a, it's got its own name. It's called the Celestophone, Ooh. and it's actually made out of meteorites or space rocks. Whoa! No way! That's so cool. Look, it's just like the other vibraphone, except this vibraphone is really sparkly and reflective, kind of like a mirror. <laughs> hey, I can see myself. <laughs> wow. Would you play a song for us? Sure. <laughs> wow! That was great! Whoa! You're really good at playing a lot of instruments. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was so cool hearing the Celestophone. <laughs> oh, I think I know what this other instrument is. Oh yeah? It's a drum. <laughs> oh yeah, this is one of my favorite drums. This is called a snare drum. Whoa. You've probably seen it if you've ever seen a parade. Wow, <laughs> could you play it for us so we can hear how it sounds? Absolutely. I love a snare drum. It sounds so cool, like I'm in a marching band, marching along. <laughs> Ooh, and I know what these are too. Oh yeah? These are cymbals. <laughs> Karash cymbals, but I didn't know they were percussion instruments. Yeah, because you hit them together. <laughs> oh yeah. If something is hit together, or you scratch it, or you shake it, it's percussion. <laughs> you mind if I crash these cymbals? Please. Here we go. It's going to be really loud. <laughs> Whoa, that was really loud. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you play the snare drum, and I'll play the crash cymbals, and we can be a band. That sounds great. Let's try it out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, 
We played together. <laughs> hey, we were a band. Yeah. yeah. That's when people play music together. <laughs> wow, well, thank you for teaching us about these amazing instruments and <laughs> playing the snare drum with me. Oh, I played the cymbals. <laughs> well, are there other instruments we can learn to play? Sure, let's go this way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, look at this place. It's so cool. There are so many percussion instruments and drums. <laughs> yeah, Blippi, this is Groove Space. So this is a place where you can take any instrument you want and play whatever kind of music you feel like. <laughs> Good, well, I feel like playing all kinds of music today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I actually have to go practice. Do you want to stay here and play a bit? Yeah, that sounds great. You go practice and I'll play with some of the drums and instruments. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. I'll see you soon. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to play some fun drums and percussion instruments. But I do have one problem. Hmm, which one should I play first? <laughs> You'll just have to decide. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of drums. Whoa, look at this. There are drums that are really big. And this one is a circle. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. But drums, they come in all sizes and shapes like this. <laughs> yeah, this one right here. Look, it's a rectangle. <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle with four sides, two of them are a little longer, so it's not a square. It's a rectangle. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm, and what else should we play with? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, have you seen one of these before? <laughs> this is a shaker. You just go on the side with your hand and shake. <laughs> Ooh, we have a small shaker, but if you want, we also have Really big shakers! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Yeah, this one's kind of silly looking. <laughs> yeah, it's covered in beads and is the color red and black. <laughs> but the shaker under it is the color white. <laughs> Whoa! I wonder what things we can use to make beats and really fun drum sounds. Whoa, look at this! <laughs> This instrument, it kind of looks like a drum, but it has all these little things on the side. Yeah, so when you shake it, <laughs> it jingles and rattles. <laughs> this is a tambourine. Whoa, <laughs> and I love playing tambourines. They make such a fun sound. That is so much fun, playing all kinds of drums and percussion instruments. But we should probably find Rob. Hmm. You are really good at playing drums. <laughs> Thanks, Blippi. Whoa, what kind of drum is this? This is a drum set, so it's a bunch of drums that you play as one instrument. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many drums and cymbals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks really cool. <laughs> you want to give it a shot? I would love to give it a shot. All right. <laughs> Sounds so fun. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. Oh, so first, I need my drumsticks. And do I sit here? Mm hmm. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> All ready to play. Uh, but Rob, do you have some tips on playing a drum set? Yeah, do you remember the counting we did earlier when we were clapping? Yeah, remember? We counted, clapped our hands, and made beats. <laughs> All right, so this time, your right hand is gonna do exactly what we did when we clapped earlier. It's gonna play one, two, three, four. <laughs> and then your left hand is actually gonna uh, stay in the same time, but it's just gonna play on two and four. Oh, cool. Okay, we're gonna play on this right here with our right hand and go one, two, three, four, but only play on two and four with their left hand. <laughs> but the tricky part is doing it at the same time. <laughs> Let's start one at a time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and now just two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and now together. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> that
that's really fun. That was great. Well, I don't want to just play the drum set. I want to rock! <laughs> Oh, well, thank you for the tips, Rob. It was You're so much fun learning about drums and percussion instruments and showing us around today. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I do have one more thing we could do, though. One more thing? Yeah, I have some friends coming over to play music. Would you like to join us? Oh, I would love to join you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is my buddy, Blippi. Whoa, hello. This looks like an awesome drum circle. <laughs> Is it okay if I drum with you? What do you guys think? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right. Okay. Oh, I think we're ready to start. All right. I think we've done this a couple times. <laughs> Let's ready? try this. Can we do an impression of a thunderstorm? Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's start. The wind is picking up. Ooh. I'm starting to hear a little bit of rain. Can you use your fingers? Starting to hear a little more rain. It's a lot of rain! Thunder! Ah! All right. It's just raining a little bit now. Really quiet rain. Oh, it's getting a little heavier. And a little louder. Okay. All right, do you guys want to try to play a rhythm together? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Uh, I'll play it once. If you guys play it back to me, we'll try it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was great. Let's try it together. learning all about drums, percussion, and being in my very first drum circle. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I got something for you if you want to keep playing drums after you leave. Really? I would love something yeah. to keep playing drums. All right, there you go. Whoa, my very own drumsticks. <laughs> Give them a try. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, they light up. They're my favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> well, thank you, Rob. You're uh, welcome. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, I had so much fun with you learning about drums and percussion instruments here at the Rhythm Discovery Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> hey, what was your favorite instrument that we played today? Really? I like that one too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Oh, and I need to do some more drumming. <laughs>
Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa, so many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah, that's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? <laughs> I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> All right, let's put them on their side and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow, the half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa, I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, 
It definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. learning about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B L I P P I Blippy, good job. All right, see you again. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippy, and that was really fun riding a bike with you. Whew. I was riding really fast because <laughs> I was so excited to see you today. But you know, sometimes I ride really slow when I'm really tired. <sighs> hey, can you think of any animals or things that go really fast? <laughs> I like that. I think I can think of some too. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> you could be really fast like 
a rocket ship, <laughs> or bike, a horse. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty silly being a horse. Can you think of anything that goes really slow? <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's keep thinking. Whoa. You know what goes really slow? A Ferris wheel. Ooh. <laughs> and a snail. How do you know if something moves really fast or really slow? Whoa. Hmm. Oh, I know, you time it. Yeah, you use a clock to see how long it takes for something to happen. And I know the perfect place for you and I to figure out how things go really fast and really slow. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. I'll see you there. I'll race ya. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa, and look at that. It's a really big ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm so excited because today at Nona Adventure Park in Orlando, Florida, you and I get to go to the very top. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be so much fun. Come on. Before we start the ropes course, I think it's a really good idea to learn about all the right equipment to use and to get in a little practice. This right here, this is the harness. And it's really important to put the harness on. So if you're doing the ropes course and you fall off, the harness will get you. Woo! <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, so we'll put this harness on, kind of like a belt. Put in our left leg, woo! And then our right leg and do the harness dance. <laughs> yeah, good job. And now you just tighten the harness like this, just like a belt. Now the next part of safety equipment we don't want to forget about are the clips. The clips are going to help us clip onto the ropes. Yeah, so we'll take this loop and we'll put it through the clips. Yeah, and now we're all ready to start practicing. <laughs> hey, I think it's time to go on the ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's pretty high up. Maybe it's a better idea to start off with something a little lower to the ground first, and then we'll do that next. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, look at all these cool, stools <laughs> and ropes yeah they're all different colors do you know what colors all these ropes are yeah this is the color red we have the color black Ooh. <laughs> and this one's one of my favorite the color blue <laughs> yeah whoa all of these different obstacles that i'm gonna have to walk on look a little bit wobbly whoa whoa <laughs> That's okay, you and I can use all of our balance to stay nice and upright so we won't fall. <laughs> okay, we're all ready to go on the ropes course. Yeah! Look at this. This one has a bunch of fossils for feet for little steps to step on. <laughs> Boing, woo, wee, woo. <laughs> Whoa, this one's really bouncy. Let's keep going. Come on. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> 
rose course is so much fun. Hey, I think we've done such a good job that we can try the one all the way at the top. Let's go. This is gonna be so much fun. Wow, that was really tiring, but I'm excited for another one. Oh, hey, look, it's my really good friend. Hey, Jake. Hi, Blippi. Did you know that Jake is a pro athlete? Yeah. <laughs> He's really good at all kinds of sports and really cool things like ropes courses. Yeah. So is it really hard being a pro athlete? It is, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's cool. I bet you have to eat a lot of really healthy, yummy vegetables. <laughs> vegetables are important. One of my favorite foods is Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? Ooh. One of my favorite foods is broccoli. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you have a favorite food that you like to eat? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty yummy food. <laughs> hmm. Well, this has been really fun doing this first rubs course, but I think I'm ready to try the one way up there. Whoa! <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I got a timer, we can time it if you want. Yeah, that's a great idea. How about Jake and I time doing the ropes course and see who wins? It'll be a blippy competition! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so who should go first? Why don't you go for it? Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go first while Jake times me and then he'll go next. Come on! I did it, that was so much fun. That was really fast, that was awesome. Whoa, it was really tricky up there, clipping into all the different parts, and it took a lot of balance. <laughs> it was so much fun, I almost made a full circle. Well, actually, this ropes course is, is not a circle, because it has six sides. Hey, do you know what a six-sided shape is called? <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's called a hexagon. Woo! <laughs> Well, that was really fun, but Jake, I think it's your time to go up to the top. All right, here's the timer. Okay, I got the timer. 
On your mark, get set, and go! <laughs> I can't wait to see how fast Jake can do the ropes course. because you're a pro athlete and practice a lot. <laughs> Great job, you're the winner. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Jake. See you, Blippi. Woo. <laughs> hey. I have a really good idea. How about you and I race? Okay, get the time on the clock started. Let's race. says curiosity corner <laughs> it looks like it's time for the curiosity corner <laughs> yeah i'm so excited because these are so much fun i can't wait to find out what we're going to build together oh look at the clock hey i bet you and i get to build a clock today <laughs> yeah let's get started come on whoa <laughs> look we're here at the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna make an awesome clock. <laughs> okay, well first, what do we need to make a clock? Hmm, oh, I know, a circle. Whoa, it looks like this paper plate is gonna be a great circle. Okay, and we're gonna need a pen because clocks have numbers. Yeah, hmm, 12 numbers. So first, we wanna put the numbers down. And a good way to write down the numbers so they're all in the right space is to start at the top. The top of a clock has the number 12. <laughs> hmm. The bottom of the clock has the number six. <laughs> and then to the right of the clock, we have the number three. And to the left of the clock, we have the number nine. <laughs> well, there's a couple more numbers on a clock, so I'm gonna fill in the rest. <laughs> Whoa, look! We have all the numbers of the clock. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, but I think our clock is still missing some things. Hmm, we have the numbers, but what points to the numbers? Oh yeah, hands, <laughs> hands. A clock 
clock has two hands, and we have some really cool paper here. My favorite colors, orange and blue. And all you need to do is cut out little arrows. Okay, you take our little arrows, and we're gonna put them on the clock. Then we just pin them in. Now that we've finished our clock, let's see if we can tell some time. Hmm. Well, we have our big hand and our little hand. What does three o'clock look like? Yeah, just like that. The little hand is on the three. Hmm. What does six o'clock look like? The little hand? We move that again, and it's on the six. Hmm. I wonder what nine o'clock looks like. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's what nine o'clock looks like. A little hand is on the nine, big hand is on the 12. <laughs> that was so much fun telling time with you. <laughs> Yay! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! These circles are the same shape as a clock. And that gave me a really good idea. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I think you and I should do a really fun dance. <laughs> Just like a clock. We'll use the tick-tock of the clock for a really cool beat and the hands of a clock, woo, <laughs> for some sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah! Okay, step one, we're gonna make our hands like this. Three o'clock, we'll move them to six o'clock, then back to three o'clock, and then to nine o'clock, <laughs> woo! And step number two is have lots of fun and be really silly. <laughs> I'm so excited to dance together. Let's go. <laughs> We learned about all kinds of things, like going slow means it will take a really long time, and going fast won't take much time at all. <laughs> it was also really fun learning about time and clocks, and the clocks have two hands and 12 numbers. <laughs> yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. I'm gonna go play in the ball pit. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Bye-bye! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum! <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here, but hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. 
This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then let's grab the snacks and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. It's John! Hey! Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. Oh. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello, flamingos. Hey! Wow. These flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller then the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs. Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show! Woohoo! Another great animal! This place is awesome! Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk? Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah. So why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Another cute animal. Whoa, this is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa, Eduardo is a three banded armadillo. Whoa, and it looks like He's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably gonna think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey, 
Hey! Do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute! And his fingernails are so long, or toenails. And he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go! Whoa, check it out! Look, this is a hawk! But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Harris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, shh, it looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow! Another amazing animal! Whoa! This is a burrowing owl. Whoa! What's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow! And Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa! Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night, but Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa! That is so cool! Papu is so cute! Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Wow, check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow. Do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red-tailed boa constrictor. Whoa, look at her just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so... Cool! <laughs> wow! Check it out! This is Blue, and Blue is a blue-tongued skink! <laughs> she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs! <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard! Wow! She is so cool looking! Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue! That makes sense! I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at him. They are Egyptian tortoises. 
Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa. That makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah, I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I. P-P-I! Blippi! Good job! Alright, see you again! Bye bye me, Blippi! And today, we get to ride some really cool water slides! <laughs> yeah! At Not Soap City in Buena Park, California! <laughs> yeah! But before we can go on the water slides, we need to get all geared up. Let's put on our swimsuit. <laughs> Look! I'm in my swimsuit! Hmm, there's one thing we're forgetting. <laughs> sunscreen! We need to make sure we put on our sunscreen or we do any kind of swimming. <laughs> okay, here we go. You don't want to get a sunburn. <laughs> Whoa, get your hands and your legs, and I'm gonna spray some on my hand, put on my face. <laughs> now we're all ready to do some swimming and ride some water slides, come on. Silly. Whoa, do you see this place? There are so many cool things here. Let's go check it out. Come on. Whoa, look at it. There are so many things here, like a lazy river. Whoa, <laughs> hello. It's so lazy. <laughs> and a giant water slide. Hmm, maybe we could do that. <gasps> or we could do this. <laughs> Whoa, what's back there? Hmm, let's see if we can see. Do you see it? Look, there's a turtle with some fish. Hmm, <laughs> maybe we could do that too. Whoa, but do you see this? It's a giant lighthouse! Whoa! <laughs> it's so big! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Lighthouses are so cool because they have really big and bright lights. Yeah, bright lights. And the lights help to tell fishermen and other boats where the shore is so they don't have an accident on the rocks. Mm -hmm helps to keep all the boats really safe. <laughs> well, I think the lighthouse is pretty cool. Oh, what do you see that behind me? Yeah, that's the beach house. 
Ooh, <laughs> and the beach house has so many fun things to explore. Let's go check it out. Come on. I'm so excited! Come on! Whoa! But before we go up to the big slides on the beach house, we need to make sure that we're this tall. <laughs> Looks like we are. And we need to go barefoot, which means I can't wear my water shoes. Nope. <laughs> we'll take them off. One shoe. Two shoes! <laughs> Okay, we'll leave them here and put them on later. <laughs> Whoa, look at it up here. There are so many water things and it's really loud. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. When you press this button, it puts water in this really cool bucket. And then when it fills, all the way to the top, <laughs> we can throw it out. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, that's really fun. Don't get too splashed. Come on. Ooh, look at it up here. It's so pretty. And hey, look who it is. The lifeguard. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lippy. What's your name? I'm Lippy. I'm Ashley. Ooh, hi, Ashley. Ashley is a lifeguard. Yeah, lifeguards are really important because they help keep you and I safe when we go swimming or if we're at a really fun water park. <laughs> hey, I bet Ashley knows how to keep us safe. Let's ask her. <laughs> hi, Ashley. How can we stay safe when we're here at the water park? I uh, won't, well, Blippi. Ways you can stay safe include always wearing sunscreen when you're out in the sun. Okay. Making sure you have a parent's permission before you go anywhere near the water. And make sure there's a lifeguard on stand to help keep you safe as well. Ooh. And always make sure you wear a Coast Guard approved life jacket. Oh, okay. Whoa, those are a lot of things. Well, first, we put on our sunscreen. <laughs> yeah so you don't get a sunburn. And you always want to be with a grown-up and make sure a lifeguard's on duty. Hmm, you should also wear a life jacket. You're swimming in a pool. <laughs> Another really good thing is learning how to swim. <laughs> yeah, I love swimming. It's so much fun. Well, now that we learned how to be safe, I think it's time to go down the really big slide, the beach house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we're all ready, Ashley. All righty, whenever you're ready, Blippi. Thanks, Ashley. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Woo. <laughs> Whoa, I'm all wet. <laughs> that was so much fun. <laughs> hey, let's see if we can explore some more of the beach house. Come on. Woo. It's so cool! There are so many water guns and spouts. <laughs> Let's go see what we can find. That was really cold! Whoa! <laughs> Come on! It looks like the door isn't open. <laughs> no one must be home. <laughs> this is fun! Over here, you see it? Look at all the slides. There's so many different colors. <laughs> I bet you and I would have a really fun time if we go over there to the colorful slides. Look, there's so many different types, like orange and blue. <laughs> Let's go. It's so big! Whoa! <laughs> Look! 
look at all the slides! Hey! And check this out! Whoa! This is a tube! <laughs> and this is what we're gonna use to ride down some of these slides. <laughs> Hello! Woo! <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah! This is a really big circle! Woo! <laughs> well, before we get in the tube, we need to decide what slide are we gonna go down? There are so many different kinds. Look at them all! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the water's going so fast, and they're all different colors. Hmm. <laughs> what color slide do you see? Hmm. Yeah, look, I see a slide that's the color green. <laughs> Good job. Do you see any other colors? Hmm. Whoa, look over here. Yeah, there's a slide that's the color yellow. <laughs> Hmm, you see any other colors? Yeah, I see a couple more colors too. My favorite color, the color blue. Well, this right here looks like a rainbow. There are so many different colors. Blue and green and red and orange. Whoa, <laughs> they all sound really, really fun. Hmm. I wonder what slide we're gonna go down. <laughs> I'm so excited. And it's gonna be so much fun. Okay, let's go sliding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Whoa, I did it. We went down the slide. <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> yeah. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! That, that was a really steep slide! <laughs> that was really fun! Let's go again! Woo! Whoa! That one was really tall! And really fast! <laughs> that was so much fun! I can't wait to ride some more! <laughs> yeah! Almost forgot my tooth. <laughs> that was so much fun! Whoa! That slide was really, really tall! That was the most fun and crazy and fast slide I've ever been on! Well, <laughs> it looks like I'm all done with the slides here. I guess you and I get to explore some more fun things in the park. <laughs> Let's go! Woo! <laughs> hey! Look at this really cool place! There's so many fun water things here! <laughs> and look! It's a shipwreck! <gasps> Let's go see if there's some buried treasure! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Look at it! Do you see this? <laughs> it's a treasure chest! Woo! <laughs> Should I open it up and see what's inside? <laughs> okay, let's see what's in this treasure chest. Whoa! It's buried treasure! There's all kinds of really cool gems <laughs> and coins. Ooh, gold coins. Arr, <laughs> I feel like a pirate. Okay. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we see if this treasure chest sink or floats? Okay. Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, look at it. This treasure chest, it floats. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I didn't think this treasure chest would float. I thought it would sink because it's kind of heavy and it's filled with all kinds of gems and coins. Hey, treasure chest, treasure hunt. What if you and I went on a scavenger treasure hunt? And we found all types of things and see if they sink or float. <gasps> that would be so much fun. Okay, I'll leave the treasure chest here for later and let's go see what else we can discover. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Come on. Whoa. Do 
you see any objects that we could use for sink or float? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, good job. Really good eyes. I see a flip-flop that's kind of a pinkish red. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this flip-flop sinks or floats. <laughs> oh, that's silly. It floats too. Hmm, we have a treasure chest and a flip-flop. What else can we find? Hmm, oh look. It's a puffer fish. <laughs> puffer fishes are so cute. <laughs> Hello, hello, Blippi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing really good. Well, do you sink or float? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> he floats too. Bye bye. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this. <laughs> Whoa! It's really shady now. <laughs> hmm, this is an umbrella, and it's red and white. It looks like a really tasty candy cane. <gasps> I love candy canes. <laughs> Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, <laughs> it also floats. Ooh. Let's see if we can find something that sinks. <laughs> I bet we will. Whoa! This is a really scary shark! <laughs> Just kidding! This shark is really friendly and cute! Hello! Hello, shark! <laughs> He's our friend! And look! On his back, he has this! Whoa! I don't know what this is! It kind of looks like seaweed! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! And it's the colors green, blue, an orange. <laughs> Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, look at it. It sinks all the way to the bottom. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. We finally found something that sinks. Hmm, but we're not done yet. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. <laughs> Hello. He's wearing a hat, or a visor, so the sun doesn't get in his eyes. <laughs> hmm. You mind if I borrow your visor? <laughs> ah, thanks. Let's see if this sinks or floats. What do you think? Do you think this red and white visor will sink or float? Let's find out. <laughs> Look at it. The top part floats, but the bottom part is kind of heavy, so it sinks. Hmm, it's kind of suspended in the water. Whoa. <laughs> hey, do you see all those animals over there? What kind of animals are those? Hmm, <laughs> that's right. Look, there are two turtles. One turtle, two turtles, and there are two crabs. One crab, two crabs. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if maybe they're hiding something that we can use to sink or float. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> this turtle has an inflatable hammock on its back. Whoa, and this crab as a teeny tiny shark. Hmm, let's see if both of these green and white objects, yeah, they're both the color green and white. Let's see if they sink or float. Hmm, first we'll do the hammock. Here we go! Woo! <laughs> and hey look, it floats, yeah. 
and now I shark. Here we go. Good luck. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! The shark swam all the way to the bottom and sunk. <laughs> now, let's see what else. Hello? <laughs> Excuse me. Whoa! Look at this. Hello? <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, this is a life ring. And this helps you in case you need to float in the ocean. <laughs> Do you know what shape this life ring is? <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Ooh, and it's the color orange and white. Ooh, okay, let's see if this sinks or floats. Whoa! <laughs> Look, it floats! Yeah! Oh, hello, Mr. Turtle! Look at this turtle! It's so cool! Its shell is yellow, red, and really dark green. Ooh, <laughs> so many colors! And it has a little fish on its back. Woo! 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 <laughs> hello, fish! Do you think this fish will sink or float? Let's see. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> it sunk! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Look at what it is! It's a giant octopus on top of a yellow submarine! <laughs> yeah! Submarines are really cool vehicles that go under the water. <laughs> They sink, but sometimes the people driving the submarine need to get out, so it floats all the way to the top. Submarines sink, but they also float. <laughs> Let's see if some other objects are hiding inside the submarine. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Whoa, this one's kind of stuck. Do you know what these are? Yeah, these right here are pool noodles. <laughs> and they're my favorite colors. Orange and blue. <laughs> Do you think these pool noodles will sink or float? I guess we'll have to test it out. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> they float. Whoa! <laughs> Do you see what it is? It's a little red fish. Mm, hello! Hello! <laughs> but there, it's a ring. There's a big circle inside the fish. <laughs> He's so cute. I wonder if this fish that's also a ring will sink or float. And hey, look! It has some friends. We have one fish, two fish, three fish, and four fish. Okay, I'm gonna drop them all at the same time to see if they sink or float. Whoa, look at it. We have a yellow and red fish. Wait a minute, look. Are they gonna sink? Are they gonna float? Whoa, that was so cool. The blue fish and the green fish, they sunk right away but the yellow and red fish were floating. <laughs> but then they all sunk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I think we should go inside the yellow submarine and see if we can find anything else. <laughs> Look, it's a pail. A watering can or a watering pail. Yeah, if you have any plants and you want to keep them nice and healthy and strong, yeah, you just give them a little water. <laughs> Do you think this will sink or float? Okay, let's see. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, it floats. But maybe if it fills up with water, nope, <laughs> it still floats, even if it has some water in it. <laughs> Whoa, I think I forgot something. Do you see this over here? Whoa. 
let's see if this will sink or float. <laughs> I think this will be really exciting and cool because it's so big. <laughs> okay, stay right here. I'll be right back. It's so big. Whoa, look at this. This ball is so big. <laughs> this is the biggest beach ball I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you think it will sink or float? Okay, let's find out. <laughs> away <laughs> that was so much fun finding out if all those things sink or float hmm but there's still one thing we haven't tested to see if it sinks or floats <laughs> i'm so excited for this last thing okay i'll be right back <laughs> hello sink or float gone on so many fun slides today. Looks like we have time for one more. <laughs> Bonsai Falls! Bonsai Falls! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! Come on! <laughs> well, the slides we've been on before have had tubes and just sliding down just with ourselves. But Bonsai Falls has this really cool mat. Come on. Look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on like this, and instead of going feet first, like all the other slides, I'm gonna go head first. Whoa, it's so topsy-turvy. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to go on the slide. Come on. Oh, hey, Ashley. Hi. Oh, she got here really fast. <laughs> Come on. Too. We learned so much. We made sure we put on our sunscreen and we learned so much about safety from Ashley the lifeguard. <laughs> yeah! And we went down really tall, big slides! Woo! <laughs> well, that's the end of this episode. But if you want to watch more of my episodes, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! Okay, here we go. B-L-I, P-P-I, Flippy. <laughs> Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. I'm gonna go down the slide again. Hello, it's me, Flippy, and today I'm at PD Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Whoa, look at this place. Whoa, it's so cool. Yeah, we're in the back. Yeah, this is called a kitchen. Oh. And look at what it is. Wow. Look at it. <laughs> wow. This is an apron. Ooh, check it out. Look at those flowers. Yeah. This apron is going to help keep me nice and clean when I bake. Yep. I sure ate a lot of vegetables today. Yep. And now that I ate a bunch of healthy food, we can have something yummy and sweet. I am so excited. Let's go! Wow! Look at the 
this place. Whoa, there's so many cool things. Yeah, like a measuring cup. Yeah, you can put things in there and then know how much of an ingredient you have exactly in this measuring cup. Whoa, or a giant spoon. Whoa, you can stir a lot of stuff with that. Whoa, whoa, and look at this. Yeah, a spatula. Boing. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna set it right there for now. Whoa, looks like we have some vinegar. Yum. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow, come on. Whoa, a giant sink. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> this is where I clean a lot of dishes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, speaking of cleaning dishes. Whoa! Hello! Look! This is a dishwasher! He put a lot of dirty dishes right here, and then you close it down! <laughs> yeah! That is awesome! Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! This is a stove top! Whoa! You can cook so much food right here! Whoa! There's so many stove tops! Whoa, do you see the little fire right there? Yeah, this is not a toy. You need to be very careful when you're cooking. <laughs> Whoa! Yum! Yeah! Look at these sweet treats! Wow! These are macarons, and they look so yummy! Look at this one! This one is the color red. Whoa, looks like we have some green, and some blue, and some orange. Whoa, look, I'll grab an orange and a blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. Ah, oh, I'll eat these later. <laughs> Whoa, we have some black sesame cookies. Yum, Woo! and some ube cookies. Yum, check these out. Open these up. Wow. What color is that? Yeah, the color purple. Yeah, there's no food coloring in this. That, yeah, that is the color of the food that was added into this cookie. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, we'll put that right there for me to eat later. <laughs> oh, look at these cute things. Looks like. What animal is that? Yeah! Moo! Moo! Yeah! A cow! Woo! A vanilla cake? Yeah! Blippi party cake! Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I! Blippi! Yeah! And a triple chocolate cake! That looks so yummy! Well, hey! Maybe you and I can cook and bake some of this. Yeah, how about today we make some macarons? Yeah! Whoa, check it out. I'm washing my hands and I'm scrubbing them for 20 seconds. Yeah, do you know how long 20 seconds is? Yeah, it's about the same length as when you sing the ABCs. Will you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's rinse them all off. Wow, oh, nice and clean now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Shut off the water. Oh, wow, and now I'm ready to make some delicious treats. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Jennifer, I'm the baker for Fanny Bakery. Whoa, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Are these the ingredients? Yeah, these are some ingredients for some macarons. Ooh, well what do we have here? Well, first we have eggs, and we have almond flour, we have sugar, and we have an important ingredient called salt. 
and when you eat it, it's really salty, but when you put it in desserts, it actually makes it sweeter and tastier. Ooh, that sounds so yummy! And you said almond flour. Why are we using that rather than all-purpose flour? So almond flour is special because when you put it in macarons, it makes it less sticky than flour and makes it really light. Wow, that is so cool. Well, hey, do you mind if I mix all these ingredients? Yeah, how about you throw all the ingredients into a bowl and throw it into the mixer and I'll go get the oven ready. Okay, woohoo! All right, let's mix all the ingredients together and then we'll put it in the mixer. <laughs> All right, first, let's uh, add the salt. Perfect. And then, we'll add the sugar. And then, the almond flour. Whoa! Hey, check it out! A small bowl, medium, and large. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and, for the eggs. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I probably have to break them open. All right, here we go. <laughs> now I'm gonna go put it in the mixer. Yeah! Whoa! Hey, check it out. This is a massive mixing machine. Whoa! There's a giant whisk right here. Wow, looks like there's a green on button, a red stop button, and a big bowl for me to add all the ingredients. All right, here we go. Pour it in. Looks like we already made some earlier. Yeah, this is gonna be a big batch. <laughs> all right. Now that all the ingredients are in there, we need to make sure that the cover is closed. We need to raise up the bowl. There we go. And now we need to turn this to the on position. There we go. And we'll push the green start button in three, two, one. Yeah! Look at it mix. a big bowl. Okay, the next step that we need to do, yeah, is take some of this batter and put it inside these piping bags. Yeah, what shape is this piping bag? Oh, yeah, it looks like a triangle. Perfect. And do you see how you open it up? Yeah, and that's where you put all the batter. But hey, check it out. Yeah, we have some batter already in a piping bag. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, Jennifer, now that we have the batter in the piping bags, what do we do now? Well, first we need to cut the bag. Okay. 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 And Perfect. we're gonna make some cow macarons. Ooh! To do that, first, you're going to need one big circle. Okay. We're gonna make cow macarons. And we need a big circle for, is that the head? That's gonna be the head, yeah. Okay. And then we need two small circles on the top for its ears. Okay. That is not how I want <laughs> That's funny. That's okay. Okay, I see it. Yeah, the head and then two ears. Here, let me try. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's just like that. And then, one ear, two ears. <laughs> Perfect. That's going to be one great cow. <laughs> okay, do we fill it up now? Yeah, let's fill up the whole pan. All right, let's do it. Yeah! Oh, that was 
so much fun. <laughs> yeah, now that we're done, why don't you throw them into the oven for 20 minutes and I'll get the buttercream ready. Okay. All right, so I need to throw these in the oven for 20 minutes. Whoa. All right, so I'm gonna put on these safety gloves. All right. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Wow, I used my safety gloves because ovens are not a toy. You need to be very careful. Okay, what did Jennifer say? She said 20 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. Wait, but wait a second. You know what I like to do when I wait? Yeah, I like to dance. Woohoo! means that they're probably done. <laughs> yeah! Let's open it up and then see the macarons. <laughs> Whoa! Woohoo! That is hot! Whoa! And they look so yummy! Wow! Check it out! Now it's time to decorate. Wow, that looks like so much fun. Hey, can I try? Sure, Blippi, go ahead and give it a try. Sure. Okay, uh, well, looks like we have three colors here. We have black, and then uh, looks like we have white, and then looks like we have the color pink. Let's see, what are we making? Oh yeah, remember these from earlier? Yeah, a cow, a cute cow. Moo! Yeah, it has two eyes, has two ears, has some spots, and a really cute nose. <laughs> okay, let's put that down right here. I'm gonna start with the black. All right, looks like I'll do two eyes. And we need to do the spots. Cute little hair thing on top. <laughs> okay, so now let me move to the color pink. <laughs> All right, looks like pink. We put it on the ears, and it's the base for the nose. Last but not least, the color white. <laughs> and we just put a little, uh oh, I put a little too much, but that's okay. There we go. <laughs> How does it look? Yeah, does that look like a cow? No! No! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, let's keep on decorating. Whoa, check it out! Yeah, a blippy party cake. Yum! <laughs> Whoa, what are these? Yeah, macarons. Yum, they're so tasty. What is this though? Yeah, does it look like my bow tie? Yeah, it's an orange blippy macaron bow tie. It looks so tasty, doesn't it? Yeah, well hey, check this out. I have two things of icing. My two favorite colors, blue and orange. And check it out. I have a flippy macron that's empty, no colors at all. So maybe, just maybe, we can use some of this icing to decorate it. So my normal bow tie is orange, but I'm actually gonna use some blue too. So let's just squirt some out. Whoa, that looks cool. Let's do a big dot there, do a big dot there. How about one right there? Oh, and one way over there. Whoa, that 
doesn't look like my bow tie, does it? No, that's okay though. Sometimes when you're being creative, yeah, actually all the times when you're being creative, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, like this. Woohoo! Check it out. Whoa. Yum. Doesn't that look tasty? Yum. And hey, watch this. I'm going to do another big blob. Yeah, a blue. Oh, I will just finish that all the way across there. And then I'll put some orange on top of that. Wow. Now, does that look tasty? Or does that look tasty? Yum! <laughs> These are so tasty! Whoa! That has been so much fun making all these sweet treats with you, hasn't it? Yeah! I want to give a special thanks to Jennifer at Peony Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Wow, she did such a good job and they are so yummy! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Yeah, today we're at Boulder Bend Glassworks in Leavenworth, Washington. Whoa, and look at all these. Wow, these are glass sculptures. Whoa, they're very delicate. Wow, so I'm gonna be nice and gentle. Whoa, check that out. Yeah, you can put all sorts of things right here. <laughs> Whoa, wow, look how brightly colored this is. Whoa, I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah. All of these are handmade. Here, yeah, handmade. These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, and they're made by two people right here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like a blue and white. Wait, <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Blue and orange, my two favorite colors. Wow, glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow. But when you heat it up really hot, yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow, there's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa, look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors. <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah, we'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but for now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. Okay, so we got some red, some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal, and we got some blue, and looks like we have some purple. Can't forget about white. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Whoa. Look at all these glass rods. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> I have 
colors on the inside. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a nice bed. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have a nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. <laughs> wow. We have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Oh, and it looks like some glass actually made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, there we go. Hey, and this is a fluffy, yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, has some nice flame coming out. Whoa, oh hey, look, they're kind of like bowls. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay. Let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. Yeah, it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not gonna touch that. Oh, it's nice and warm though. Whoa, look at all these. Little pieces of glass. Wow, they're so colorful. Whoa, yellow. Blue, orange and yellow, purple. Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. You know me, I love safety. Check it out. <laughs> look at these big mittens. So then you can hold a nice hot glass and then it won't burn you. Whoa, is this true? Is this true? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Whoa, and down here, whoa, looks like we have a helmet. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do I look silly? Wow, I love protective gear. Yeah, keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like a liquid in there. Oh, whoa, check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not going to touch. Wow, <laughs> there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look, yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where the glass blower blows into this pipe, and on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it. Kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, and this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used and they are very cold. And that's why I am able to handle these. Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, <laughs> so cool. Whoa, what are they doing? Whoa, hey, who are you two? I'm Craig, I'm Dory. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi, what are you doing? We are blowing glass, we're making hearts. We like to make hearts a lot. Whoa, they're blowing glass and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? I'm making that beautiful heart shape. 
Oh, those kind of look like tweezers. <laughs> You see what she's making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love. What are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it'll crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two-day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this art. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that art. <laughs> now, I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First I need to roll it. Yeah! Oh, that's really fun. All right. There we go. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa. All right, now we're heating it up. I chose blue and orange, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite colors or color? Wow, what a great color. <laughs> You see how I'm spinning it? Yeah! It's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. It is very hot. Okay. Now roll it. Whoa. Just like that. Keep rolling. Whoa. Oh. Just like that. Keep rolling. Okay. Just keep going. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to, it was moving a lot, right? Yeah. You gotta let it cool down so that when we cover it with more hot glass, that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank of glass. Oh, okay. Now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That was very good. Thank you. Okay. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold, but when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love honey, but I definitely do not want to eat this glass or honey, because that would burn us. Wow. Whoa, do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon-looking device to roll it in and look at how smooth and circular it looks. Wow. <laughs> Little more heat. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, it's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is 
tap it, but I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? All right. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the last bit of shaping. And then from there, whoa. Okay, how's that? That looks really good. And then let's give this point just a little bit more of a tug. Perfect. And then how about right? There. Wow. A little bit more of a crease. I'll try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. How does that look? That looks very good. Okay. Huh? Yep. Great. Whoa. Wow, that was so much fun. Now they're gonna do the finishing touches and then they're gonna pull it off of the metal rod. Now we're keeping that back truck point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made. Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> and then they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, they do such great work. Wow, and then they made a heart. Yeah, they used yellow and orange. Whoa, yeah, yep. <laughs> that is so cool. And then I got to make a heart. Yeah, do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah, blue and orange. Whoa, <laughs> here it is. Wow, we did such a good job making this heart. Whoa, <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard. Yeah, and then when they were really hot. Yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey. <laughs> but not honey. It's glass! <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now. <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Flippy! 
Good job. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi!